another delay in the Affordable Care Act. We keep delaying things. Why don't we just delay the whole bill permanently and come up with a real solution? Unaffordable and unpopular, but is Obamacare unstoppable? And what you're not reading about is the government actually abusing these programs and listening in on people's phone calls or inappropriately reading people's emails. But a new report says the NSA broke thousands of privacy rules over and over again. Can anything be done to stop the abuse of power in Washington? Plus, political correctness gone mad. California lets transgender students use any bathroom they want in school. What about the privacy of their peers? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Mike Huckabee. studios in New York City. Well, it looks as though the voters of New York have come to their senses of the possible election of Anthony Weiner to be mayor. He now languishes far back in the polls. He's actually set a new record for the highest unfavorable rating of any candidate ever polled in New York. A stunning 80% unfavorable. Only 11% see him favorably. And they must be either pornographers, his immediate family, late night comedians, or maybe people who work for cell phone providers and just need his business. Now, <laughs> and to that embarrassing spectacle, the case of former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer, who's vying for the job of New York City Comptroller. That would be the job that would oversee finance and spending. The married Governor Spitzer certainly proved to be a pretty big spender on call girls, so it's sort of hard to see why New Yorkers would trust him with their money. Well, despite the entertainment value of having these and other politicians find it impossible to leave the spotlight, no matter how humiliating it must be for their families and what friends they have left, an issue emerges. What's happened to the simple virtue of shame? Have we lost completely and forever the red-faced, head-hanging, tear-shedding sense of shame? I mean, when's the last time you heard a politician associated with words like humility, contriteness, brokenness, or modesty? There seems to be a sense in which we blurred the lines between shame and fame. In fact, it's as if we have equated, even elevated, both characterizations as if they were character qualities. In a culture that worships celebrity rather than substance, we all might be surprised that those who want to be the leaders of our political institutions are playing with the same rules as those who lead the entertainment industry or sports. Embarrassing and immoral behavior no longer disqualifies one for what passes as public service, but rather it validates one's humanity. And the abracadabra of just saying, I'm sorry, wipes the slate clean with the added bonus of. 100% name ID. Ego, narcissism, and raw ambition have replaced the notion of selfless servanthood. Elected offices now go to the most brazen, driven, and self-fueled megalomaniacs. George Washington had to be begged into service as president, and he absolutely refused to make it a lifetime career. Washington would never make the first cut of a modern-day primary that requires one to have the, what I call, Elijah syndrome of saying, Oh, I'm the only one that God has left. What we don't see enough of is the Jesus model, the let this cup pass for me, but not my will, but yours be done. Today's political figures are often just that, figures, as in action figures, artificial miniatures of the real thing. Shame and the capacity to actually display the shame that we have is not a bad thing. In fact, it's like humility. It's a good thing. It reveals that we, in fact, do know the difference between right and wrong, and we're utterly disgusted with ourselves when we fail. Where there is no shame, all that's left is fame. And that is a sorry substitute for character. Well, this week we found out that the Obamacare tradition, which makes a cap on annual out-of-pocket costs like co-pays and deductibles, that's going to be the way another year until 2000.
2015. It's just the latest in Obamacare delivery.